Okay, so today I decided to hack an old dot matrix printer. Now, why would you do that? Because I mean, it's an old dot matrix printer. They're loud, they're noisy, they're slow, and they produce bad print quality. Well, it was five bucks from Goodwill, and I wanted to see if I could make it print color, because with dot matrix printers, um, if you wanted to print color on a dot matrix, they had color ribbons that had all four colors vertically aligned. This is a pretty heavily used one out of a previous color dot matrix that I had that um, the feed mechanism disintegrated on. Uh, it's actually the same, also a citizen. It's actually branded as a Tandy, but it's also a citizen. But what happened with dot matrix printers was to cut costs because a dot matrix printer is actually fairly expensive to build. And they're very ink efficient, so they couldn't really use the inkjet model of the ink's really expensive, but the printer's cheap. So to move that ribbon, you have a stepper motor, which is right here. I'm not going to pull it out right now because um, the way that this printer is, if I pull that out, it could come apart. And that was often called a color kit. In this case, it was color on command. So, when I got this printer, it had a black ribbon in it, did not have a color kit. So, when you put a piece of paper in, Actually, let me turn it on first. I'll just go ahead and drop a piece of paper in. Uh, it didn't feed it right. There we go. And I'll just turn it off. And hold on a sec. And it prints fairly quickly in black and white for a dot matrix. You will notice that I have removed the cover for this area because everything I'm going to show you is in this area. So we just get in the way. And it's showing off its high quality graphics right now. It's only a 9 pin dot matrix, so the last one was a 24 pin, so this is a lower quality printer. But, of course, you don't really care about this. So I'll just tell it to stop the print job, power it off, and back on. What you really care about is how I'm adding color. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and tell it it's got a color uh, ribbon. So I'll go into its little menu system, which it's going to print out. And I'll hit select to move it over to the color setting and save. And I'm done, so I'll go ahead and exit the menus. Okay, so now it thinks it has a color ribbon in it. I'll go ahead and sh shut it off. So here's the problem. This stepper motor assembly was not here. Now, my last printer, it had it. And at the end of its cable is this board in a little plastic case. It's probably not focused very well, but that's an 8-pin connector. Um, it's got a stepper motor driver on here, and it's got a switch to detect the ribbon, so that you don't have to go into the menu and set that. But this, I've already removed it from the board, and I don't know where it ended up, but this had a 5-pin connector. So what are we to do? Um, hold on.
Hold on one moment. I forgot the one tool. Yeah, that should work. Well, what I decided to do was remove the offending connector. Which the connector soldered into here but didn't do anything and also soldered into here. So I just soldered the wires to here. I actually used the pin out from the board that I took off. It also had a much longer cable than was necessary. Now that I have this out I can go ahead and take out the stepper motor. It's just a stepper motor, some gears, uh, some plastic, some metal. It's and I actually found that they sold this for $59. So I basically just soldered it up after finding out the pinout. Put this all back together. The only thing you can tell is different is the connector is missing there. You can just pull out the old ribbon. And I have the color ribbon right here. Set it down and it has to align with some areas. And now we'll go ahead and print the full test page in color. Actually fire it up. And you'll notice that now that it knows it has a color ribbon, it went ahead and um, cycled through all the stepper motor movements. Okay, so let's go ahead and print a test page. And you can see uh, the magenta, the cyan, um, you can also see black now it's printing. Um, thing is, these do have pretty bad issues with color bleed, especially into the yellow part of the ribbon. But this was a whole lot cheaper than inkjet back in the early 90s, late 80s. You could get inkjets, but they weren't cheap. And you can actually still buy this printer. They don't make the color kit anymore. But I think they cost 150, 200 bucks now. And they're mainly used for printing multi-part forms because the dot matrix printer is an impact printer. And notice that it's actually cycling through the colors to match what's on this control panel here. And it's very slow. So this is one downside of dot matrix printers. But dot matrix printers are extremely economical. I mean, this black ribbon, you can buy new for, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. And it'll last you easily 10,000 pages. And when it runs out, you spray it in WD-40, slight and rotate it a few times, and it's as good as new for another couple thousand pages. So, they may not have very good print quality, they may not be very quick, but dot matrix printers definitely have their use. This is printing the last line right now. Thanks for watching.